Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to optimize Windows 10 for gaming and with that we're gonna reduce the latency, reduce stutter and lag, reduce the loading times, reduce startup times and also we're gonna increase your FPS in games. So make sure to do all of the steps and watch this video till the end if you truly want to fully optimize Windows 10 for speed, boost your system performance and boost FPS in games. And let's start. So first of all, before we start this video, I'm going to create a restore point and you should too. Just in case if anything goes wrong with your PC after this tutorial, then you can just double click on the system restore point and it will all go back as it was. What you want to do is click on the search bar and now type create a restore point and open it. Now what you want to do is click on local disk C system and click on configure. Now check the turn on system protection and click on apply. Click on OK. Now click on create and you can now name your restore point. And once you name it, just click on create and wait for it to create a restore point. It should say that the restore point was created successfully. Once it's done, you can just close the system properties. And now you can optimize your Windows 10 and if anything goes badly or if your PC crashes or if you just want to revert the changes, then you can just double click on the system restore point and it will all go back. And let's start with the tutorial. The first step is to click on the search bar and type system config and open the system configuration application. Once you open it, click on the boot tab. Now check the no GUI boot and set the timeout to 5 seconds or 3 seconds if you have a solid state drive. So I'm gonna set it to 3 seconds. Once you're done, click on apply and click on ok. Click on exit without restart because you can restart your PC after this tutorial. The second step is to click on the search bar again and type cmd. Right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator. Click on yes and it should open up. Now go to the description of this video and download the Windows 10 optimization spec and open it up. Now open the ultimate performance mode notepad file, copy the code and paste it in CMD. Click on enter and this will enable the ultimate performance power plan in Windows 10. Once you enable it, you can close the command prompt and click on the search bar and type edit power plan and open it. Now click on power options and select the ultimate performance power plan. Once you select it, click on change plan settings, click on change advanced power settings and now what you want to do is click on the plus next to hard disk, click on the plus next to turn off hard disk after and make sure that both of these are set at never. So just set them at zero. Once you're done, scroll down and find the processor power management. Click on the plus next to it. Click on the plus next to minimum processor state and set both of these to 100%. So just type 100 and it should be set at 100%. Now click on the plus next to maximum processor state and set both of these to 100% as well. Once you're done, just click on apply, click on ok and the changes will be saved. You can now close the power options. The next step is to click on the search bar again and now type reg edit and open the registry editor. Click on yes. Now click on the arrow next to H key local machine. Click on the arrow next to software. Now click on the arrow next to Microsoft. Now click on the arrow next to Windows NT, which should be somewhere around the bottom. There it is. So expand it. Click on the arrow next to current version. Now click on the arrow next to multimedia. Now click on system profile. And this should open up. What you want to do now is just double click on network throttling index. And set the value to 8 F's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 
click on OK. What this does is basically it just slows down the network when non-multimedia files are being played like games etc. Multimedia files are videos, movies etc. If you enter 8 Fs in here this will turn off the network throttling index and with that Windows won't slow down your traffic. Once you're done click on OK. And now double click on system responsiveness and set the value data to 0. Once you're done click on OK and we can now move on. What you want to do now is expand system profile, expand tasks and click on games. Now double click on GPU priority and set the value data to 8. This will just set your graphics card to prioritize games. Once you're done click on OK and now double click on priority and set the value data to 6. Once you're done click on OK and double click on scheduling category and set the value data to high. Once you're done click on OK again and you can now close the registry editor. The next step is to open the task manager which you can do by right clicking on the taskbar, click on task manager and now click on the startup tab and disable all of the applications. So basically this will just disable any application from starting up when you open up your PC when you first boot up and your PC will boot up faster. Once you've disabled all of these you can now close the task manager. The next step is to click on the search bar and type this PC. Now right click on it and click on properties. Now click on advanced system settings. Go to the advanced tab and click on settings under performance. Now make sure that the adjust for best performance circle is checked and that all of these options are unchecked. Once you're done just click on apply, wait for the settings to be applied. Now click on the advanced tab and click on change where it says virtual memory. Now uncheck the automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Now click on the first one and click on system manage size. Once you're done click on the next one which is D and check the system manage size circle. And now do the same step for the third one. Basically virtual memory is RAM memory that comes from your hard drive. Once you're done click on OK. Click on OK, Apply, OK and you can now close the system properties and close the system settings. The next step is to click on the search bar and type settings and open it. Now click on where it says privacy, click on the general tab and turn everything on off. Once you're done. Click on Diagnostics and Feedback, make sure that the basic is selected and turn everything off as well. Once you're done, click on Delete where it says Delete Diagnostic Data and you can now close the Diagnostics and Feedback settings. The next step is to click on the search bar again, open up the settings again, click on Gaming and now turn off the game bar. So if this is turned on then what you want to do is just turn it off. This records game clips, screenshots and broadcasts which you don't really need. Once you're done click on game mode and make sure that the game mode is turned on. As you see it says when game mode is on Windows optimizes your PC for play. Once you're done here you can go back to settings. The next step is to click on the search bar in the Windows settings and type notifications and actions settings and open them. Now what you want to do is just basically turn everything off and with this you'll turn off any notifications that you might receive while you play. Now click on focus assist and turn it off. So what you want to do is just click on the off circle. Then click on tablet mode and choose use desktop mode on the first one and don't ask me and don't switch on the second one. Once you're done you can now close the settings. 
The next step is to open up the settings again by clicking on the search bar and now type settings and open them. And now what you want to do is click on personalization, click on where it says background and select a solid color. Now choose any color that you want and now click on colors. So go to the colors tab and turn off the transparency effects. Now go back to the settings by clicking on the home button, click on apps, click on offline maps and now what you want to do is turn off the meter connections and turn off the map updates. Once you're done, click on delete all maps, click on delete all and once you're done, click on close. The next step is to click on the search bar and type run and open it. Now type percent temp percent and click on OK and this should open up. These are all just temporary files and folders that your PC doesn't need anymore and you can now delete them. So click on Ctrl plus A to select all of them, right click and click on delete. Click on continue. Once you're done you can close the temporary folder and now click on the search bar again, type run again and now type prefetch and click on OK. Click on continue and do the same steps. So select all of them by clicking on Ctrl plus A, click on delete and skip the files that won't be deleted. You can now close the prefetch folder. Now open the Windows 10 optimizations pack, click on the GPU settings folder and open it. And now if you have an Nvidia graphics card, what you want to do is right click on the desktop and open the Nvidia control panel. If you don't have an Nvidia graphics card, then you can just skip to the next step. Once you open the Nvidia control panel, click on manage 3D settings. Make sure that the high performance Nvidia processor is selected as the preferred graphics processor. And now open up the first image from the GPU settings folder. And what you want to do is just copy all of the settings from the image into your Nvidia control panel. Once you're done with the first image, open up the second one, copy the rest of the settings and when you're done, just click on apply in the Nvidia control panel and you can then close it. The next step is to open the ISLC folder in the Windows 10 optimizations pack. Double click on intelligence standby list cleaner. Click on yes. And now click on the arrow in the bottom and open the ISLC cleaner. What you want to do now is stop the program if it's already working and then check the enable custom timer resolution box and set the wanted timer resolution to 0 0.50. Then type 1024 megabytes in the list size is at least box and type 8196 megabytes in the free memory is lower than box. If you have 16 gigabytes of memory or type 4096 if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna type 8196 megabytes and once you're done click on purge standby list, click on start and you can then close the program. Now go back to the Windows 10 optimizations folder and double click on CCleaner setup, click on yes, click on install. Now what you want to do is click on the custom clean tab and select everything that is in here. Once you select everything in the windows tab, just click on the applications tab, select everything as well and click on run CCleaner. This will just free up some memory on your PC by deleting temporary files that you don't need anymore. Once you're done, you can close the CCleaner application. The next step is to double click on Nvidia profile inspector. Click on yes. And now what you want to do is click on where it says frame rate limiter mode and choose frame rate limiter control delay flip by flip metering from the list. Once you select it, click on apply changes and you can now close the Nvidia profile inspector. The next step is to double click on park control setup 64. Click on yes, click on ok, I agree, next, install and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, it should open up. Now what you want to do is click on where it says CPU settings for power profile and choose bit some highest performance from the list. Now make sure that all of these are set at 100%. 
click on apply. It should say new settings have been applied. Click on OK and click on OK again. Now double click on the quick CPU setup. Click on next, accept the terms, next, next, install and wait for it to finish. Click on finish. Click on yes again and it should open up. Now go over it says system power plan and choose bit some highest performance from the list and make sure that the core parking index, frequency scaling index and the turbo boost index are all set at 100%. Once you're done, click on apply. It should say changes successfully applied. Click on OK and you can now close the quick CPU application. The next step is to click on the registry editor tweak. Click on yes. It says are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again. And the keys and values contained have been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. And the last step for this video is to right click on Windows Deploader. Click on Run with PowerShell. And this should open up. Now what you want to do is click on Remove all bloatware. And just wait for the script to finish. Once it's done it should say finished all tasks. And then you can close the Windows PowerShell. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.